All right, we're going to talk about the clove hitch. The clove hitch is a hitch designed to cinch around an anchor or an object that we apply it to. And it's important that we redirect the safety in the correct fashion. Um, this is a preference that you're going to see a little bit of debate about. Uh, in some applications, you'll see the tail continue to progress in line with the clove hitch around the anchor um, and then have an overhand safety place on it. It is imperative that clove hitches have overhand safeties. The other application redirects the tail, takes it in opposition to the direction of the wraps, and then puts an overhand safety. The second uh, application I just discussed is the one that utilizes the integrated or designed friction of the clove as a hitch. Um, in testing applications, if you do it the other way and continue the tail in line with the, the coils, when that clove hitch becomes loaded, it is possible for that overhand knot to progress down the loading line and become a stopper knot as opposed to a safety knot and end up truly loaded because you don't generate the amount of friction that's intended within the clove hitch. So here's the clove hitch and those are the applications. To tie it freestanding, we'll start with our position one, do our first twist. Once that first twist is done, we're then going to progress down the rope a little ways and we're going to put a second twist into the rope. Once that second twist is placed in the rope, we're going to bring the first one up, lay it on top of the second one, and that forms our clove hitch. The key element to identifying a clove hitch is that when you wrap it around an anchor and you look at how it separates out, you're going to identify that you end up with an X, here's the X, and two tails coming out of the hitch in opposite directions. This is that application where you'll see some theology on clove hitches that take this tail, continue to progress it around the anchor, and then make an overhand safety. The application that we are advocating is to redirect the tail in opposition so that it effectively loads that hitch point and then place your overhand safety. There's also a way to tie a freestanding clove. If tying a freestanding clove, simply wrap the rope around the object one time, and then when you bring it back around, cross over the top of the initial rope, forming that X. As the rope comes back around, we're going to visualize that X segment and then we're going to trace that tail underneath the X so that we're redirecting that rope in opposite direction of the other tail coming in, resulting in our clove hitch.